Hello. Welcome to EasyVB. Tutorial 2. In Tutorial 1, we created an application to drag an object. In this tutorial we will modify that application to drag multiple objects. Before we do that, we will look again at some of the areas of the Visual Studio menus we used. We created a form, Form 1, which is accessed on the Design tab, named Form1.VBDesign. The form is where we create the graphic, or visual part of applications, and this can be done without writing any code. To create on the form it is quite similar to creating a slide in PowerPoint. It is very, easy. There is also a code file which is accessed on the code tab, named, form1.vb. This is where we will write all the code which drives what will happen on the form during the runtime of the application. In creating applications mostly we will be working on the form appearance and on the code file. We placed an object on the form, a picture box, which we selected from the toolbox menu. The toolbox lists numerous objects of various types, sometimes referred to as components, and these are categorized, as controls, containers, and so on. The distinction is not important now and will be explained as we go along in later tutorials. We changed the properties of the object, its name, color, and size, in the properties menu. We also created an event for the object, a mouse move event, selected from the events menu. We then went on to write code within the mouse move subroutine to describe and control the actions that would happen for the event, in this case dragging the object on the screen with the mouse. So from tutorial 1, we already explored 5 activities or areas for visual basic programming which, we will use a whole lot in coding applications. To recap the 5 are, the form, the code file, the toolbox, the object properties, and the object events. With the form and the code it is clear that there is a visual part and a basic programming part of the language, hence the name, Visual Basic. The objects and events used lead to the genre description of this type of programming language. Events based. Object-oriented, programming. We will move on now to write code for dragging multiple objects, but do go ahead on your own and explore the available toolbox objects, object properties, and object events. For example, in the object properties, try changing the location coordinates of the picture box object. OK. We will now code to drag multiple objects. The first step. We will need more objects. For this we will create two more picture boxes. We can do this by going again to the toolbox menu and selecting picture box, but instead we can just copy and paste the existing picture box PB blue. Now we have two more identical picture box objects and these have been default named picture box 1 and picture box 2. As we did in tutorial 1 we will change the object properties, the names and colors. But we will leave the size the same at 50 times 50 pixels. Note, that to access the properties or events for an object, just click on that object on the form and the menu will display for that selection. Alternatively go to the properties menu and select the object by its name. We will rename picture box 1, and picture box 2, as PB red, and PB green, and also change the back colors to correspond with the names.
Now for each new picture box, we will go to the events menu and create a mouse move event. In the code file there is now a mouse move sub created for PB red, and another for PB green, but there is no code in the sub yet. So go to the mouse move sub for PB blue, and copy that to the sub for PB red, and to the sub for PB green. The final step is to change the object name, PB Blue, in the code, to match the name of the object being handled by each sub. Go ahead and run the application. Try dragging each object around, and we can see that it works fine. We can drag multiple objects. Notice that when we drag PB green, it drags on top of PB red, and PB blue, and that PB red drags on top of PB blue, but under PB green, and that PB blue, drags underneath both PB red, and PB green. The reason is, the topmost picture box is the most recently created one. But we can edit which is the topmost. Close the application, go to PB Blue on the form. Right click, and from the menu select Bring to Front. Run the application again, and we can observe that, when we drag PB Blue, it is now on top of the others. This is OK. But for an application we cannot keep going back to form one design and adjusting it. We really may want the dragged picture box to be placed on top of the others programmatically when we choose to drag it. So let's do that. Close the application again, and open the code file. Now within the else statement, for the PB blue mouse move sub, add a new line, PB blue bring to front. Do the same for PB red. And for PB green, OK. Now run the application again, and drag the picture boxes around. Are they on top now every time they are dragged? Yes, they are. Success. Now we have learned a little more visual basic. Not so difficult, is it? But let's look at the code again. Repetitive isn't it? We have three objects, and write the same code each time, with the only difference being the object name. Also, when we edit the code for the bring to front amendment, we had to make the edit in three individual subs. What if our application needed 20, or even 100 objects? How time consuming? tedious, and error prone, would that code be to write and edit? Now you have probably guessed. There is a better way to write this code. So in the next tutorial we will show a better way, and how we can manage all 3, 20, or even 100 objects, with a single mouse move sub. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial was useful. If it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe.